Hello and welcome to this special episode of Battlefield Recon, the weekly Battlefield show on CVG's YouTube channel. I'm your host Dan Dawkins and I'm joined by Andy Hartup. Hello. We've been playing the uh, beta trial of Battlefield 4 all this week and we're about to show you some footage on PC. In fact, what we're going to reveal as well is the specs we're running on because mm. it's a nice comparison to next-gen systems. So we've got effectively here uh, like a quad-core processor, 16 gig of RAM, which is above what battle yeah. they, uh, they DICE recommend are recommending. Eight, yeah. So yeah, that's double the RAM they recommend. And uh, our graphics card is already on HD 7850, which again is, is slightly below spec for the recommended. The recommended is... Uh, uh, Radeon HD 7870. It's thereabouts, yeah. But it's pretty close. So we're, we're running on a sort of pretty reasonable, goodish PC here. Mm -hmm. Now you can see the uh, results and the settings we've put it on just on the next frame. Okay, so we're running the game at approximately 1050p. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be seeing this on YouTube at 720p. So this isn't quite how it looks on a PC screen. But it is running at a really smooth 60 yeah. frames a second. You'll also notice that the textures are max uh, are on ultra, but a lot of the other um, the other graphical settings are running on high. So, you know, we're, we're round about recommended specs, and we're running everything really comfortably on high settings. Yeah, and again, what's worth noting is that they've talked about the next gen version of Battlefield 4 on Xbox One and PS4 running at 720p and 60 frames a second. So what we're seeing on screen right now from the PC beta test is probably of a comparable quality to what we're going to get from the next gen versions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, yeah, here we go. Now it's worth mentioning um, before we start that um, I'm not used to playing the game on PC, so I'm playing it on uh, on an Xbox pad, so I am not as sharp as, uh, as you'd expect with a mouse and keyboard. Um, I have been playing the PS3 beta as well, yeah. and I can talk about that in a little bit. But we wanted to show you what the game would look like, um, what, it, what it looks like on PC on high settings, yeah. and what it will probably look like on next-gen consoles. Now, what map and what mode are we playing here? Okay, so this is the Siege of Shanghai map. So um, it's, the, it's the only map available in the beta. Um, and the mode we're playing is Conquest. Uh, it's 64-player Conquest. So um, that's something that will be available on next gen, but isn't available on current gen. So uh, what's yeah. the current gen limit for players? Thirty-two. Okay. Uh, and you do notice, I mean, it is. It does feel a lot busier on uh, on the sixty-four players, obviously. Um, now, what you'll see is um, me dying a lot, obviously. <laughs> um, what you see is I'm mainly sort of playing as the uh, the engineer class. All the classes you recognise uh, are pretty much the same as they are in 3. Um, so you've got your Assault, Engineer, uh, Support and Recon. Um, what, what you will notice is that a lot of the textures are really, really sharp on this and there's a lot of detail, especially on the PS3 one, which you don't see in the current gen versions. So stuff like this advert here that you're yeah. looking at, um, a lot of the lighting effects, um, the destruction is incredible on the PC version. You can blow bits and pieces out of the buildings. It really does feel like they have achieved the same level as they were achieving in Bad Company, um, whereby it's not just sort of scripted destruction or destruction of the uh, facades of a building. You can knock the crap out of a lot of things. So there's me dying again, <laughs> <laughs> but being avenged. Um, now, Obviously, the deploy screen. Um, quick, quick thing to note. Uh, I'm just having a having a look at my kit here. You can see on the first level, I haven't unlocked anything yet because we've only been playing. Okay, has anything about changed half an hour. here significantly from previous battlefields? Uh, not an awful lot. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of different uh, attachments and options for creating your character and adding stuff to your gun. You can really, really personalise it, but you will have to play a lot of hours before you unlock all that kit. Um, I pl I've been playing for a few hours now, I'm about level two-ish, um, and I've only unlocked a handful of little things. Um, I mean, you, you, you have got a few, uh, a few things unlocked from the start, so you can choose whether or not to go with a red dot scope or iron sights, stuff like that. Um, and, you know, really, really basic kit. Um, the point is, I don't think you ever feel like you're at a disadvantage. I think other people... Are, you, you may get sometimes get the impression that they're using better kit than you, but not yeah. significantly better yeah. kit. 
I think it's always very easy to blame Kit when you've had a bad run. And always yeah, go, yeah. They've got far superior tools, but in fact, quite often, it's it's a skill based and situational thing. Yeah, definitely. So, is there anything different on the deploy screen that we'd seen? Like, is there any new ways to until I get back into the game or anything to note? Uh, no, not really. I mean, you um, you can either spawn at any of the points that you've captured, or you can spawn on your squad into vehicles, things like that. So. You know, all, all the spawning remains very much the same. Now, what I noticed a lot on the, especially on the PC version, people went straight for the skyscraper um, <laughs> and just just took it down every time. So when you're playing, where if you if you haven't started playing yet and you're going into the open beta on Friday, just be aware, people are going to take out the skyscraper pretty quickly. Uh, this uh, mass of rubble is what you get left with. Uh, now I'm swimming across. Oh, so that's to it. A, that's an old size skyscraper. Yeah, that's what's left over. Doesn't look very good. I'm swimming across to it. Um, you've got two options when you swim. You can swim fast and have no weapon, or you can get your secondary weapon out, your pistol, hmm. and take pot shots at people when you're swimming across. Which uh, can work. <laughs> it can work. Um, I didn't make it work, but um, I know a couple of people killed me from the water using a pistol. So there we go. Come on, Andy. Oh, went in for the knife kill, but someone killed him before I got to him. Uh, one thing I noticed a lot of, actually, is um, there's a lot of knife counter kills. Um, I got knife kill, counter kill quite a few times. Um, and that's where you, you basically you sneak up on someone, but you're not directly behind them. They get the option to counter. So um, Is that, again, with a quick reflex like button press? Yeah, or? very much so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, there we go. There we go, taking him out. He he'd actually just uh, just knifed my man, so I took him out with a pistol, and we captured this point. One thing to note as well uh, on conquest uh, on the 64 player on the PC version, you've got five points to capture on the city of Shanghai map. On the current gen beta version, you've only got three points to capture. Okay. Um, and the map is it, it's smaller. Well, it feels smaller. I think it is physically smaller. There's definitely a lot less detail in it. So there's a lot fewer places to hide. The buildings aren't as intricate, so there are fewer rooms, things like that. So um, you know, it, the the map is scaled sensibly according to um, according to how many players are on the map and how. Is this last man in squad? Happening. Is that you? That's me. Yeah. Well, from God hiding, help hiding this squad. Rock. So did yeah. you win on your own? Um, oh. Well, that's a good. That's a good bit of rocket. <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't too bad, but um, no, I didn't. I didn't win on my own. Basically. Oh, for shame! And don't worry. I mean, you squad. Your squad basically, they can spawn on you. They're, when you're the last man in your squad, it just means that your other squad members are dead. Right. It's handy for when you're um, when you're sort of sat by an objective waiting for your squad to spawn on you, because you want your uh, you want your squad with you to assault an objective. You don't want to try and take it on your own because you'll get butchered. Uh, a little, a quick note when you're swimming. Actually, you have to physically surface by um, by pressing the uh, the jump button. Otherwise, you drown. Oh, right. No, that's Which I critical. almost found out to my cost. Right, okay. Oh, because I was like, why on earth isn't he breaking the surface of the water? He's dying. And, um, yeah, yeah you just got to press the jump. So we saw the skyscraper down. reduced to rubble. What does it take to actually bring it down? Like, what level of firepower? Um, you have to destroy all the struts. There's a load of struts on the, on the bottom of the skyscraper, and you have to take them out with rockets or tank or something like that. Um, and you, you have to destroy all of them to knock it over. Okay. Um, one thing I noticed about the PC version as well is a lot of people are, are playing it what I'd regard as, as like properly, so they're they're helping people out, they're spotting people, which is where you you know you identify targets for your uh, for your squad, and it feels like a bit more of a team game. Just just based on the games that I've played on both versions, and I've played them both sort of fairly equally. Yeah. Um, there's quite a lot of abuse on the uh, on the PC version, floating around on yeah. the text screen. Yeah. Which I hope you haven't been watching. <laughs> Otherwise, we might have to rate this video. Um, the, and the PC version is generally a hell of a lot more aggressive. Like right. the the guys on here know what they're doing. They um, and yeah. They and we, I mean, we aggressive. are really because we are talking about it. this beta trial isn't available like on general access until like oh, what Friday is it? Or the yeah, fourth. it's Friday. Yeah. So as a result, what we're seeing here is the advanced beta trial, which is. For people who, I guess, are by nature dedicated battlefield players, people yeah, who've either these... 
bought, you know, got the premium access, That's or they right, bought, yeah. uh, was it a Medal of Honor Advanced Warfighter Special Editions? Mm -hmm. So you'd have had to have done pretty hardcore things to have got to this stage to see this early. So mm. yeah, you are playing against people who are really up with their battlefield. Yeah, they know what they're doing. And the bad news is that if you're not on this beta, <laughs> and you're joining on Friday, these guys are going to be tooled up. Yeah, they, they'll know the map a lot better and they'll know some techniques. So mm -hmm. the, good, the the best get better is the bad news for us noobs uh, heading <laughs> in on Friday. But yeah, for Andy, you'll be well ahead of the curve. Um, you've also been playing the current gen version, which is the PS3 version. I have, yeah. You, you touched upon there being sort of graphical differences. And I mean, mm. that's entirely to be expected because we're running this on a pretty good mid to high end PC. Yeah. Uh, you know, quite what compromises are being made with the console version? Um, well, I think with the, with the current gen version, certainly, like I said, there's a lot less detail in the buildings. So um, this room's a really bad yeah, example, a bad example because example, it's yeah. pretty plain anyway. Like these these banners here that you see in the street, they're not in there. They really, really strip back all the HD detail. So you know the textures look very, very sort of plain, and there isn't as much. There's not as much stuff to hide behind. The destruction is 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 incredibly. Um, it's not. It's not basic, actually. The destruction is very good in the current gen ones, but you just can't. You can't sort of drill down to that micro level of of taking small chunks of wall out and things like that. Um, the other thing, well, I mean, I'm more comfortable playing on console. Um, so, like, pad in hand. I guess if you're newer to the series, it feels a little bit, a little bit fairer almost because you, you know, guy, guys on the PC with a keyboard and mouse. They're, you know, they're a sniper with a pistol, essentially. So, you know, they take you out pretty quickly. So it's less fiercely competitive on on the console at the moment, but that won't always be the case. Um, I guess the other differences. Um, I mean, the, yeah, there's there's less detail in the in the weapons. Yeah. Um, like I said, on on the PS3 beta, there is only like a, a three spawn point, uh, three capture point. Uh, map um, because the maps are smaller, so you won't, you can't play 64 players. You have to play 23 players. Right. Um, there's more vehicles actually in the PC one. Um, I noticed that in the in the PC one, there's boats that you can roam around the harbour in. Okay. Whereas um, in the PS3 one, are uh, I couldn't find any boats. I'm pretty sure there aren't any. Oh, fair enough. So um, just as a big Battlefield fan throughout the years. Like, how have you found your first few hours with Battlefield 4? Oh, I've absolutely loved it, you know. Um, this this map actually is, is going to be one, it's got so much detail in it that it's going to keep surprising people. People are going to keep finding new tactics, I think, probably throughout the whole of the beta. Now, the, uh, the Battlefield 3 beta, which was the Operation Metro map, a lot of people sussed it out fairly quickly, whereas I think that this one's a lot more open and people are going to... You know, for every tactic, there's always going to be a counter tactic. One thing I don't I don't like much at the moment um, is you get a lot of a lot of snipers getting the helicopters and landing on roofs and just sort of sitting there picking people off, which is yeah, it's not very helpful as a, like a team a team play, and it's really really bloody annoying when you're when you're trying to play against it. Right. Uh, so, uh, but I think I think there there will be um, people will work out ways to counter that really really effectively. Now, what you see here, this guy by the bollard, well, what what you did see <laughs> is he was uh, he was playing with one of the um, the levolution features, which is the one that allows you to raise the bollards ah, to stop nice. vehicles coming through. Yeah. So um, that's that's quite a neat little feature. It stopped me once or twice driving around. Although I, I did have to, I do have to admit. I just got out of the vehicle, right lowered the bollards and carried on with a bit of a rampage. Could you time the bollard release so that someone was like speeding along and then you raise the bollards at the right time to flip them, to shunt them? Yeah, in theory, yeah. I haven't seen anyone do that, but I'm pretty sure that is that is something you can do. If they were really going for it and you shot the bollards up, yeah. Could no, potentially could flip them. Uh, another question I've got is, like, you've been playing it again not that much time, but, you know, quite a few hours already. Have you experienced anything akin to the battlefield moments that we show every week? Where we show people, you know, with weird bits of skill, unique physics, accidents, that kind of stuff. Have oh, you experienced yeah, yeah. anything yourself where you went, "Oh, that's great!" And like, what would it be? Yeah, I think there's a lot of um, there's there's a couple of helicopters on this map, so a lot of it is to do with that. Um, there's a lot of sort of moments I've had where someone shot down a helicopter with a really really lucky RPG shot, yeah, and you know it's come crashing down and crushed someone else. 
Um, st moments like that are always, you know, they're always great. Um, there's, there's been moments of, of annoying creativity. So someone, when you, when you uh, take the lift up to the top of the skyscraper, um, someone parked a helicopter with the minigun facing towards the lift exit. And um, they basically sat there picking people off as they came up the lift with the helicopter minigun, which was, you know, let's face it, an absolute bastard tactic. Yeah, yeah, But yeah, it worked, yeah. it got me. So, I mean, what I did, because I was one of the people that fell foul of it, I went to the bottom of the skyscraper and shot the helicopter off the roof with an RPG. So that was my little battlefield oh, well, moment. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, obviously, just to recap, we're, we're not, this isn't the finished game. This is a beta trial, that must be stressed. Once again, the quality of the footage is being slightly compromised by viewing it on YouTube as mm. opposed to natively on PC. Uh, our supposition is that this is you know, more or less the spec you'd expect next-gen consoles to be running at. So I think it's a fair indication, but obviously not definitive. No. Next-gen consoles probably will have, you know, uh, whilst the raw stats can't be compared, next-gen stats or next-gen machines will be able to maybe run, you know, different types of post-processing effects yeah, like yeah, smoke, possibly. lighting, those kind of things. You know, we'll all see when we get the final footage. So we'll have much more analysis of the beta, including the mode we're not showing here, which is... Uh, domination. Domination, which will be in next week's Battle Recon show, which is every Tuesday at 5 p.m. BST. Do not miss it, because we'll have much more from the trial. And if all goes well, hopefully some Battlefield moments from other players on the beta trial all being well. So, yeah, definitely much more analysis on this. It should be then be open to the public, so we'll have more information and more possibly on the current gen versions. So yeah. anything more to add, Annie, before we wrap up? Uh, not really, just uh, just remember this uh, Battlefield beat is public for everyone on Friday, so get stuck in, um, send us your moments, and um, yeah, yeah, just get involved, let us know what you think. Uh, hit us up on Twitter, right? It's uh, at Battle Recon. Yeah, at Battle Recon, share your thoughts on the beta, share any links to videos of great things you've done on the beta any questions you've got about Battlefield, it's always great to hear from you. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and until next Tuesday's Battle Recon at 5pm, we'll see you soon. See ya.